welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are the way you are because of what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. Yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 388. NASDAQ's up 134, S&Ps are up 52, gold, gold contract caught the bid. We are up uh, $20, $33, trading at 1770. You got silver up a dollar 34, 1893. Light sweet crude, flat, $96.98 a barrel. Notes and bonds. We're going to talk about notes and bonds, folks. This is pretty amazing. Fed's going up in rates and the market's driving rates down. You get the 10 year right now up 18.6 at 121. You get the 30 year up 17 at one at two at 143.08 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 157 ticks trading 106.295. The Euro is at 101. The yen is at 134, and the British pound is at 120 to one, 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you took out the B point in the S&P yesterday of a very large ABC up. Bottom line, SPY's trading 416. Your benchmark is June 1st. We're going up to 417. At the volume, you took out the B point, took it out with volume. Uh, market was tricky this morning, no doubt, but guess what, man? You're charging forward. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100, and we have Apple and Amazon coming out. And listen, we'll see what they have to say, but uh, the Qs are going to also take out the swing point today. We need uh, 57 million shares. You got 43. The Qs will do, end up doing 65 or something. That's another ABC up. Now, the differential here in the Qs is that that's going to take the Qs over the June 1st area because when you take a look at it, you get 308, we got, uh, yeah, you get a 20, 28 A to B, uh, which is going to give you, let's see, 92, 3, 318. So 318 is somewhere, 318, one second, that's 314. Yeah, 318 is bringing us all the way back. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, 318 is bringing you back to ice, man. This is going to be pretty wild. 318 is bringing you back to ice. Gold. Gold contract. We finally got price spread plus buyers, folks. We've been, the buyers have been on a strike. So what has happened is that, yeah, gold has continued to just drift lower, drift lower, drift lower. Didn't have the volume, but guess what? We, every time we try to go up, it didn't have anything happening with it. This time, bottom line, you get the wide price spread, plus you get the volume, and simultaneously what you have here, if we take a look at this, what you're going to see, it's only a small line, but the bottom line is broke its downtrend, and that's saying the gold's going to start making its way back to 1878. Right now you're at 1771, and that's going to be all about the good old U.S. dollar, because if we take a look at the dollar, what you have here on the dollar, uh, your benchmark, it, it keeps basically moving back and forth oscillating on this number. A close, it's 106.792. Right now you're 500 ticks below it. And what that day was, that's when the dollar went up 1,700 ticks. Huge move. You, if we can get price spread, kind of like we did today, that is just about ready to break the uptrend in gold I mean, in the dollar. Now we get the dollar back to 101,297. And needless to say, there's been a direct correlation inside the stock market, inside the commodity market, inside every market. The dollar has been running the market. And the bottom line, you can see every time that you get some relief in the dollar, the market wants to go higher. Now, all of that being said, I think the biggest thing out here that you want to wrap your head around is this. Now, this is about as deviant as you can get. The 10 year, folks, okay? is doing an ABC structure on the way up. And what that means in the bond market is higher price is lower yield. Well, how does this work, okay? Because the bottom line, we know the Federal Reserve went up three quarters of a point. They're probably gonna just keep going, which they have to because of inflation. But the bottom line is that the market is buying the 10-year hand over fist, okay? 
It's broke the B point out here today. We already have enough volume. That is saying that we are going much higher, number one, and that yields are going much lower. Now watch this. This is a total mind blow. I'm going to put the inverse chart up. This is saying that right now, let me get what yields today, yields are at 2.67, right? This is saying that we are going to 2.14 to 2. This, if the ABC comes in, you're going back to the March 14th area. So what I did is this, is that the first chart I put up, and I'd be happy you know, to do it again, I'll show you the ABC up. That's the 10 year on the way up. This chart here is the yield chart. Bottom line, that is gonna be some mind blowing because <laughs> when you look, and you gotta remember something. The Federal Reserve, folks, is in charge of the Fed funds rate. Now the Fed funds rate is bank to bank. That being said, it's very unusual that the Fed fund rate is going up and the 10 years going down. And when I say the 10 years going down, everything is predicated on the 10 year, meaning that our credit cards, housing, bottom line, rates are going down. And you can see, this is, I say this is gonna be one of the fastest times I've seen rates not only go up, and I've seen them go up this fast before, but I've never seen them go down this fast after going up this fast. Uh, the high that we've hit is 3.4. So, and we're at 2.6, you can see that we're almost, at a percent now, we're at eight tenths of one percent. If we go to two, that means we came right back down uh, to the two percent as fast as we went up to the 3.4. And of course, what, that, what you'll end up seeing there because of that is that you'll end up seeing mortgage rates get pulled back, lower structure all around. Hey, bottom line, this market wants higher price right now. We'll see what happens as we come up to the next swing point. Uh, but Bottom line, it looks to me like this dollar has topped. If the dollar tops, guess what? Markets get breathing room. Commodities get breathing room. All of the above gets breathing room. We're going higher. Dow Industrials are right now are up 364. Nasdaq's up 125. S&Ps are up 50. You stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Fred Ernest, the CEO of Vista Gold. They came out with their numbers this morning. He's going to walk us through what is happening with Vista Gold. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.